You've seen them on the news, you can see them on YouTube, videos of police in action taking down a suspect. Sometimes they do it legally, sometimes the video shows rights being violated. A case in Atlanta is highlighting the growing tension between police and citizens armed with cell phones. Sonny Hostin is on the case for us. Uh, Sonny, good to see you. Good Atlanta, to see you, Randy. Atlanta police actually uh, stopped a man from taking pictures of an arrest. They took his camera phone and, and told him that he had no right to record them. And, and the police were, were wrong on this, right? They were wrong, and they were wrong to the tune of $40,000 in damages, which is what they're going to have to pay that gentleman. Interestingly enough, Randy, he's a member of Cop Watch, which was an organization that was started in about 1990 in Berkeley, California, and the goal of the organization is to do just that, film police activity uh, to sort of try to avoid wrongdoing by the police, and, and that is the, the, you know, the guy who, who got his phone taken away from him. Yet this wasn't even a questionable arrest, right? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, uh, apparently he was, he was filming police activity. He, it was a public area. Uh, he had his, you know, cell phone camera, which so many citizens, so many of us have. And uh, the police officer really took the phone, yanked his arm, and then, uh, I guess, deleted the images that were on the cell phone. So on all accounts, just, just um, inappropriate conduct by the police department. Yeah, I guess they wouldn't even give it back to him until they, they got his password to delete those images. Um, but is there a lesson here, I guess, the, the question is, for other police departments? Well, certainly. I think the lesson is that police departments need to know that citizens can film their activity if it is taking place in a public, uh, on, on a public property, public site. That is what we are allowed to do. Of course, you are not allowed to interfere with police activity. You're not allowed to interfere with them doing their job. You shouldn't compromise an undercover investigation. But what was done here is completely appropriate. And I think police departments across the country need to watch out and behave because there are cell phones in almost everyone's hands today. All right, let's get to this other issue. Uh, this Maryland judge